Hey, what's up? This is Atlas Knight, and today I got some more new games. I'm going to go ahead and show them to y'all. Okay, first I got Stellar Blade right here for the PlayStation 5. And here's the back of the back of the case. Now, when you buy the game, you'll get a free DLC code. I'm not going to show the code, but I will show what the picture looks like that comes with it. This is the outfit you get for Stellar Blade. And it has a reversible cover, by the way, too. It's okay, but it could have been made a little bit more uh, sexier. And I also got a physical copy of Uden Chronicles for the PlayStation 5 right here. It has no reversible cover. And then I got a copy of um, Dust Diver. Even though it's a Japanese version, the game does have English subtitles. It has no reversible cover. But here's the uh, front and the back of it. And I bought a physical copy of Class of Heroes 1 and 2, Complete Edition. This one, this game has a little bit of fan service in it, but it's mainly just in pictures from what I can tell. As some girls in bikinis. And uh, here's the front and the back. And then I bought this game right here. I bought a physical copy of... Um, I, think, I can't remember what it's called. I think Hotel is a Nami. Escape from Toguka. Happy Place. I think that's the name of it. This is a sequel to this game right here. Hotel is a Nami. This right here is the uh, sequel. And this game got a lot of fan service in it for the girls. I mean, you'll see a lot of half-naked girls up on there. And here's this Hotel Izanami right here. Hotel Izanami 1, I mean. This game also has fan service on there. And I got me two, I got me a second copy of Seven Pirates H. This is the Chinese version. Even though it's in Chinese, it does have English language. Here's the front cover. And here's the back. And this is the Chinese version. This is the American version. Now, like in both versions, they're good. the audio is going to be in Japanese. But um, it, it, it will have English subtitles too. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Um, I have a fiscal copy of... Um, Uden and Chronicles on the Nintendo Switch. I can't, it's somewhere back over here, but I don't feel like digging through all these Nintendo Switch games because as you can see, there's a whole bunch of games back here, including PS4 games. They're just mainly covered up by the PS5 games, so you can't really see them. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and show my physical copies of my games that I have now, too. These are my physical copy of my Nintendo Switch games right here. Okay, 
go ahead and show the next case. Hold on. Okay, here's some more Nintendo Switch games. And on to the next case. Yes, we still got more. Okay, two more. Okay, I'll go ahead and show the last case. Hold on. Okay, here we go. Okay, now these games, there's not as many games as up in here. But I'm going to fill the rest of them up within the next couple of months. But yeah, these are all the games that are left. Let me cover this up because I forget this was even on air. Okay, that's it for that. Those are all my fiscal games. Well, I get some more up here, but I'm not going to show all of them. But... Hang on. Oh, I'm glad that was in a plastic seal case. I got some more games up here. This is Gal Gun 1, Gal Gun 2, and Gal Gun 3. And yes, all of these have English subtitles in them, but the audio is in Japanese. Then I got the uncensored version of Dead or Alive Extreme 3 Fortune on the PlayStation 4. And yes, that does have English subtitles, but the audio is only in Japanese. And then I got the uncensored version of Dead or Alive Scarlet on Nintendo Switch. Then I got the uncensored version of School Girl Zombie Hunter. And then I got Final Fantasy VII Rebirth with the Cowgirl Tifa uncensored. I got the game in there, and I get this custom case from a eBay seller named Two Piece Snack Box. He makes custom cases. He did a really good job making them. If you want to buy some custom cases from him, he's on eBay, and his name is right here, Two Piece Snack Box, and that's his uh, website right here, and he sells stuff on eBay as well. They got more games up here. Well, not games, but um, I don't know what you call them. Oh, yeah, then I got this box back over here. Simra Kagra. Then I got the Rhapsody Limited Edition. I mean, if you look, I got a crap load of games here. Then I got a display case down over here. To put all my um, boxes in. 
I still have more games, but um, they're inside my other room. Anyway, uh, I'll be right back. Okay, hey, what's up? This is Atlas Knight. I'm back. I also want to show off my uh, beautiful convertible Corvette. She's a fucking beauty. Uh, most people can't really afford these cars, but they are expensive to maintain. But as long as you treat them right, you'll be fine. Yeah, I love showing off this beauty. This car goes 206 miles an hour in 17 seconds. I repeat, this car goes 206 miles an hour in 17 seconds. Now, I know some people on YouTube will talk shit about me and stuff. Be like, oh, it's an old car, but hell, you can't afford it. You're probably driving in a Honda or a Toyota. Toyota Camry. I mean, I'm talking about the people who are hating on me. I'm not talking about the people who are not hating on me. I'm talking about the haters. But anyway, yeah, this is my um, YouTube channel right here, Atlas Night. Now, most people will brag about saying, yeah, I got this car and this car on YouTube, but how many people will actually show what they got on YouTube? They'll just sit up there and lie and try, and try to make you feel bad about what you get because they can't afford it, but I can. I do need to get me some custom rims for this car though. I want the ones that are on the uh, Grand Sport Corvette. I don't know if you can see the inside of it or not. Ah. And this car even lets you put your own custom name in here. You should be able to see it. It says Atlas Knight. And then the car has a uh, backup monitor. Hang on, I can't, you can't see it in the sunlight, but I also have a, um, a red line, Escort Redline 360C radar detector here. This thing is so helpful, it picks up police officers from up to 10,000 feet away. It has stealth mode, so that way police officers uh, you can track police officers from up to 10,000 feet away. This radar pretty much pays for itself, and the AC in it does work. But hang on, I'll be right back. Let me put this top back up because it's starting to get hot up out here. Okay, this Atlas 9, I'm back again. Anyway, I got a touchscreen TV right here, and it also has a uh, backup reverse camera. I don't know if you, yeah, you can see it. If you can look, you can see me uh, backing up. I gotta be careful, I don't wanna crash into anything. And then, here's the speedometer right here in my Corvette, and there's the name as you can see from my YouTube channel, Atlas Knight. Oh yeah, also make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and like this video. But I'm not gonna end the video yet, I had to, I had to go buy something real quick. But anyway, um, I'll be right back in a I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to be right back in a few minutes. Huh. I kind of wonder if they have alligators in that water, but I don't want to go nowhere near it because I have seen alligators as big as 16 feet up over here and I don't want to get nowhere over there. But anyway, I'll be right back. I'm going to go back to my room. Okay, what's up, this Atlas Knight? I just got back from my Corvette, and now I'm going back inside my game room. This right here is my Android 18 TPE Lazui sex doll. And as you can see, I got Stellar Blade playing. And I signed the petition. Here's my 4090 RTX gaming laptop. 
holds has four terabytes of internal memory. Then I got my 2080 gaming PC, my GeForce RTX 2080. This one has two two terabytes of memory. Then, then again, also, we got the Escort Redline 360C. And let me show you her again. I got Stellar Blade right here for the PlayStation 5. And um, here's some more games I got into celebration of uh, celebrating Stellar Blade. I still want the game to be uncensored, but I bought me a physical copy of Bayonetta for the PlayStation 4. Then I got a physical copy of Bayonetta 1, 2, and 3. And I got Nier Automata. And I got Samurai Maiden. Then I got the two physical copies of uh, Uniden Chronicles 100 Heroes. Now this game right here does have a reversible cover for Uden and Chronicles 100 Heroes. The Nintendo Switch version does have a reversible cover. And this is the Japanese version I bought from PlayAsia.com for $39.99. It's in Japanese, but the characters still speak in English audio, and it has English text. And here's the American version I bought, bought in New York City. Here's the game right here, Uden the Chronicle 100 Heroes. As you can see, the PS4 version doesn't have a reversible cover, only the Nintendo Switch one does. Then I got more games over here. I got so many games, I can't show them all. Then I got what I recorded with HD PVR Pro 60. Got the Nitro Deck Nintendo Switch OLED. Then I got two copies of Mary Skelter. Okay, I'll go ahead and show you some of the outfits I got too from um, Stellar Blade. Hold on. Let me go ahead and start this up. Okay, I'm actually playing on the uncensored version. Hold on. Here's our costume right here. I don't have that many costumes. I like this one a lot. It's pretty good. Oh, I love that one. And then I found out a trick. If you press on her planet diving suit like this, you'll get the skin suit. That's crazy. I never knew you could do that. I just did it by accident, like back uh, a few days ago. Man, but I'm definitely loving this bunny suit. I really, really hope this game does get uncensored again. Because I honestly, it deserves to be uncensored. And you know the funny part is? PlayStation used to make way more games with way more sexual stuff in it than Stellar Blade. I mean, not, not PlayStation. I mean, PlayStation used to allow more sexual stuff on their PlayStation than Stellar Blade. Like, Dead or Alive Extreme Volleyball. Like, 
Sony allowed this to be put on the PlayStation 4 back in, uh, I think, 2017 or 2018. And the girls on there have, like, jizz, jiggle physics. I mean, physics. Excuse me. Um, like, look at this. This is what Sony allowed on the PlayStation 4. And look at the back of this. This is the uncensored version. Look at that. Shaking butts and wiggling legs. They allowed this to be on the PlayStation 4, but they don't want Stellar Blade to be on the PlayStation 4, which makes no sense. I mean, I'm sorry. They want still they don't they don't people don't want Stellar Blade on the PlayStation 5. They want it to be censored, but no one's not complaining about this game right here. But I don't have nothing against this game. I do like it. I don't think this game's not censored at all, but I'm all against censorship. Every game should be uncensored. It don't matter uh, what the characters are. They're not real. No one's getting hurt. So who gives a shit about the age? They're not real. So no one's not getting hurt in my opinion. So to me, it's all good. As long as they're fictional characters. But anyway, though, this is Satless Night. I will see y'all later. And make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I will see y'all later. And um, have a good day.